princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about caring for your contact lenses. I do wear contact lenses pretty much every day if I'm not being lazy and just want to use my glasses and I wear clear contact lenses the majority of the time and then for special occasions and for filming or whenever I want to look really pretty I wear coloured contact lenses. Since I do review contact lenses I thought it would be quite nice to have a little care guide for them as well because I do worry that I will recommend wearing contact lenses to some people who are not used to them and haven't been really trained to wear contact lenses and that they will damage their eyes and that does make me feel a little bit guilty. So this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how I care for my contact lenses and what type of contact lenses I wear and recommend. So the first step for contact lenses is to go and see your optometrist. Your eyes are quite precious, you only get one pair of them and what are you going to do if you lose them? So it's better to take care of your eyes and take precautions so I definitely recommend seeing your optometrist. In general my optometrist does not like coloured contact lenses so they don't recommend me wearing them very often so I do limit my usage or if I want to wear them often I use a daily disposable lens. My eyes are quite prone to protein build up so when you blink and you're wearing your contact lenses it feels really gritty and this can be really bad for your eyes so this is why I generally gravitate towards monthly or daily disposable lenses. But when you go to see your optometrist you can wear lenses and they will check to see if the lenses are fitting your eyes correctly or if you need to get a different base curve or diameter. If you really don't want to see your optometrist a good way to see if your lenses are fitting your eyes correctly is to look really really close at them and blink link. If the lens is moving up and down your eye or if it's getting caught on your eyelid the base curve is not correct for your eye shape and you will need to change them. The lenses do need to fit your eyes so if you're blinking and they're moving around or if you put them in and they're not comfortable don't wear them. The second thing is to be really really hygienic about your hands. You do need to wash your hands really really thoroughly and dry them and make sure there is no lint on your fingers before touching your contact lenses. Also making sure that your hands are really clean prevents diseases or anything gross getting into your eyeballs. It's just good to be hygienic please just wash your hands. The third point is to not wear your contact lenses for too long or past their expiry date. All contact lenses will have an expiry date be it one day, two weeks, a month three months or a year. If you wear your contact lenses past your expiry date you are really just asking for trouble. They do expire and since they are like little bits of plastic sitting in your eyeballs it's just not a very good idea. I don't really know the proper justification as to why you shouldn't use them past your expiry date but it's just not a good idea. They expire for a reason. But also don't wear your contacts for too long at a time either. For my clear contacts the recommended hours for wearing them is six hours which Obviously it's a little bit unachievable because your average work day including commute is probably about 10 hours but I really don't recommend wearing them for too long because it does really hurt your eyes and you wake up with really red eyes. Um, I do like to use eye drops and I have special eye drops that really hydrate my eyes because I get very very dry eyes. And lastly don't sleep with your contact lenses in unless they are special contact lenses that are designed to wear while sleeping. So I'm going to show you a couple of different types of contact lenses that I wear regularly and show you how I put them in and take them out and clean them. There are so many different types of lenses and these are the ones that I use regularly. We're going to start off with clear daily lenses. These are the lenses that I first started wearing when I first needed contact lenses. These are great because they require the least amount of effort and hygiene basically. You don't need to clean them and you get a fresh pair every time you wear them. This makes these more on the expensive side and for my clear ones I pay about a dollar per lens. These come in blister packs which is great because it's very hygienic and you don't need to prepare anything for these. All you need to do is make sure your hands are super clean, open up your blister pack and grab your contact lens. Since these are daily disposables, they are a lot thinner than your monthlies or yearly lenses. Generally, when they come straight out of the pack, they will be the right way to be put straight into your eye. It can be quite hard to tell which is the right and the wrong way, especially with dailies because they are so soft. This is what the right way looks like. It looks like a cup and it comes upwards to meet your eyeball. This is what it looks like when it's the wrong way out. It has a sort of flare at the edge and it doesn't look so much like a cup. The difference is super subtle. Now moving to my other set of clear lenses, these are my monthly lenses and these are silicon hydrogel lenses. For this you will need some solution too. The monthlies come in packs of three and you do need two different sets of them if you have two different prescribed eyes. 
the monthlies also come in a nice hygienic blister pack, but these ones do need to be soaked before they are used. With your lenses, you will need a lens case for these so you can store these overnight and prep them. I can't really show you too much of my monthly lenses because I do need these and they are quite expensive so I can't afford to just open one up and waste them unfortunately, but this is what they look like. Of course you will need some multi-purpose solution and mine is from Specsavers because it is inexpensive and it doesn't sting my eyes. For my monthlies I also have a little carry case for them just in case I need to take them out or clean them or anything like that while I'm out and about because I'm paranoid. Inside the case there is a little mirror which is pretty filthy. A small vial of spare solution, a little cotton pad to keep my fingers dry and hygienic, and of course the lens case. Moving on to the more fun lenses, these are coloured daily contact lenses. I have two sets here and they're both from Sincere and they are the Select Fairy range. We have the One Day Princess and the Mode Brown lenses. Just like the clear dailies, these come in a little wrap tab. They don't need any prep or any solution. They are fine to put straight into your eyes from the case. These are a little bit thicker than a clear lens because they have color in them. I do find that it makes these a little bit more uncomfortable for me to wear, but you can still see that the lens is pretty soft and flimsy. So the dailies are better than monthly or yearlies for colored lenses. Plus, if you're like me and you only wear these maybe once or twice a week, these are a bit more inexpensive than a monthly or a yearly lens. Lastly, we have yearly coloured contact lenses. For this you need your lens case, the lens files and the lens solution. A coloured yearly lens comes in these little glass files and they're a bit of a pain to open to be honest. To prep your lenses, you'll need the lenses, the case and the solution. On the top of the vial, you'll be able to see some little pointy arrows and that shows you where you should open the case. Push upwards with your thumb and make sure that the whole top rips off because that is a metal ring around the cap. When you peel back the cap, it will come off at one side and you're supposed to be able to just pull off the metal from the side. Of course for me, half the time it doesn't actually happen like that, like it just did then and the metal cap breaks off. They are really hard to get off with your fingers and they're very sharp so I recommend using some blunt tweezers or tweezers that you don't particularly need to get eyebrow hairs out with and pull the cap off. The little stopper is made of plastic and it's really easy to get off. To prep your lens case make sure you wash out the lens with your solution and then fill it up with the solution. A good tip is to make sure that you only take one lens cap off at a time because if you're like me with different prescribed eyes you can forget which one is the right prescription. I get my lenses out using a q-tip but if you're standing beside a basin you can just dump the whole thing into your hand to get the lens out. Make sure that your lens has no rips or no tears before you put it in the container and make sure you're putting it in the right side so either the left eye or the right eye depending on the prescription. Screw the case shut and then we're going to do exactly the same for the other side. Make sure that your lenses have enough time to soak because the saline solution that's in the vials is not safe for your eyes. The minimum suggested soak time is 6 hours but we always recommend to put them in overnight. That way your eyes will hurt a lot less when you put them in for the first time. Before putting in your lens, you want to wash your hands really well and dry them. Grab your lens case and open the side that you're going to put in your eye first. Don't open both because it can get a little bit messy. Grab your lens and put it onto the palm of your hand. With your solution, put a little bit into the palm on top of the lens and massage it really gently. This helps get rid of any extra dirt that's still stuck onto your lens and it makes it nice and clean. Your lens is then ready to put in your eye. Make sure that you replace the lens solution in that case so that it is prepared for when you take the lenses out. To put them in your eyes, first check that there are no rips or tears in the lens. I use my ring finger to pull down my lower lid and then I put the lens in my eye with my middle finger. I start with my lens a little bit off center to my iris and then I just push it into the middle of my eyelid and blink a couple times. The blinking will smooth out the lens and make sure there are no air bubbles. Your lenses should feel quite comfortable in your eyes, they shouldn't flick around when you move your eyes or jump up and down while you blink. When you're preparing to take your lenses out, again you need to make sure that your hands are washed and dried thoroughly. To take them out you can try two different ways, I use both of my index fingers to push my iris from the center inwards. It's sort of like a pinching motion. I usually blink a couple of times to get the lens to pop off from my eye because my eyes are a little bit flatter than normal so sometimes it is a little bit difficult. The other way is to use your index finger and your thumb to pinch the lens out. 
Start from the outer side of the lens and just push inwards and upwards. Then with each lens you take one side of the case and again you put the lens in the palm of your hand and use a bit of solution to rub the lens gently. When I take my lenses out I do this two times at least until I find that the lens is nice and clean because they are obviously dirtier once they've just come straight out of your eye than after they've been soaked overnight. Put the lens back in its case and screw the lid on and you are done. And that is pretty much all I have to say about the basics of contact lens carrying. Please be careful with your eyes and like I said before you only get one pair of them so I would hate for someone to you know just run into wearing contact lenses and not know that they have to soak them or clean them or wash their hands or they can sleep with them so if you want to wear them and you don't usually have prescribed glare contact lenses I do recommend doing a lot of research and making sure you know what you're doing before just sticking a bit of plastic in your eyeball because contact lenses are really fun to use, especially the coloured ones, the clear ones are really not that fun to use to be honest, but it's like an accessory for your eyeballs, it changes up your look dramatically um, and I really like wearing them so just be careful when you wear them and enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope it was really helpful, if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and I will see you next time.